Jeff Probst had turned down so many offers to work when I spoke to him. And I think, by the way, I feel Jeff Probst reached out to us initially when he heard about this in the newspaper. And um, Jeff was getting on a short list, narrowed down. I remember he sent me, or his agent sent me, a tape of him interviewing um, Sandra Bullock which was when he was at Access Hollywood, which was hilarious. And I just thought he had a great human quality. But what really caught me was he sent me a mock-up of press stories about him and Survivor once it was going to be a huge success, which was something I'd also done, which he didn't know. When I'd pitched CBS, I'd mocked up a Newsweek cover and a Time cover that was the number one show on television. Jeff didn't know that, but Jeff did the similar thing himself. So that a was a sign to me. And Jeff demanded he wanted the job. I then had an interview with Jeff. And I spent 45 minutes of an hour telling him why he couldn't do this and shouldn't do this job. Because there was no babysitting for some star. He might live in a tent, might not get much water or food, get bitten by bugs, chased by snakes. It's going to be a crappy job if you want to be in LA and if you want to be Indiana Jones on the edge of it all and dirty and bug eaten and live in the moment like really live in this not just hosting a show but living in the experience then you may want to do this but otherwise you know it's something you're not going to want to do because this is not how I do things and he, just said, he didn't say a word he listened for 45 minutes and then started laughing so I've been here for 45 minutes I haven't said a word yet I really want to do this I said okay I'm going to put you on the shortlist. I went to Leslie Moonvis. I found two people that I believed in. And um, Jeff was one of those two. And uh, the other was Phil Cogan, who went on to become the host of Amazing Race. And I presented both to Leslie and looked to Leslie Moonvis for his advice on who to choose. He looked at DVDs of both of them. He met both of them. And then he let, just he and I were alone. And he said, who are you hiring? And I swallowed, I thought, isn't he gonna make this choice? He's actually having me make this choice. I'm hiring talent for a network show. I thought the way it worked is CBS would tell me once I'd narrowed it down. He said, your show, buddy, who are you hiring? I said, they're both great, but my instinct's telling me Jeff Probst he said, you have a host. By the way, that was probably one of the greatest moves. I'm friends with Phil as well, by the way, who obviously CBS benefited massively from that casting finals with two people left. Um, but Jeff Probst, I've gone on, has been one of my best friends, one of Roma's best friends, you know, and uh, he's, has become a showrunner on Survivor, an executive producer, and is not only much loved, by what, 12, 14 million people every week on, on American TV. I mean, a decade unbeaten on Thursdays at eight. This season moved to Wednesdays without much fanfare or marketing, number one on Wednesdays at eight. Unheard of, in fact, up from last year. And a lot of that is to do with Jeff. You know, it's a great team, by the way. Many people on the team have been from season one together and Jeff has taken a great leadership role and I'm very grateful to Jeff.